Hi, my name is Josh Bruce, and today we're going to be looking at iOS 7 Beta 1 running here on my iPhone 5. So if we light up the new lock screen, you can see the new lock screen with the new date and time and the new slide to unlock. And we have our new notification center. If we slide down from the top, we get a summary of any calendar events going on today, the weather. And if we scroll down, we get the stocks. And also if we have any events scheduled, we also have some tabs here at the top. So we've got all and any missed notifications. And then we also can slide up from the bottom to reveal the new control center. So here we can toggle on things such as airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb and orientation. Also change things such as the brightness, control your music settings. Here we have airdrop and airplay as well as a flashlight the clock, the calculator, and take us to our camera. So without further ado, let's unlock the phone and reveal the all new flat UI. As you can see, it's very flat, very vibrant colors. And in this brief demo, we're just gonna go through some of the stock apps that have been updated by Apple. So starting off with the calendar. As you can see, it's got this nice design and we can drill in so you'll see the new animations as we drill into the current month and as we drill into the day and everything seems to just expand and really really work quite quite fluid and well it's quite nice and then we also have the new back buttons and then when we hit the home button you'll see the new animation taking us back to the home screen the app kind of slides out with a nice animation now so going into the photos app and you can see we're in collections. So we also have years, moments, collections. And if we zoom back in, we also have the new filters. So we can apply filters to any photos that we've taken. And you get a nice preview. Just go through all of these. And you can hit apply when you find one that you like. But for that, we're going to cancel that and head out of the photo app. Next, into the camera app. So as you can see here, we have the new toggles down at the bottom. So we've got video, photo, square, and panorama mode. And nice new feature is straight as you're taking the picture, you can actually apply filters. So you can't actually see them here because it's on... A dark background but you can apply live filters and then preview them before you actually take the photo which is quite a nice new feature so heading out of the camera app and into the maps app so here we are on San Francisco you can tap to get rid of all the navigation and that gives you a real crisp crisp clean view and you can zoom in and as you zoom in you get this kind of uh, bar showing you the relevant sizes and then it disappears as you go away and also we have if we tap to get the bars back the information the satellite mode and go into the building mode and it seems to work quite nice it's very fluid feels really nice which is great so heading out of the maps app now onto the weather app and this is received a great new interface. I love the new weather app. It's really nice, really crisp, and gives you a nice detailed overview of the day as well as the rest of the week. And then if we pinch out, we can see all of our weather for the different locations that we've got as well as you can change your units and add new locations. So moving out of that, we have Passbook. Passbook hasn't really changed much, but I don't know if you can see here at the top, we can actually see the background that we have on our lock screen because Apple's gone with this new translucent kind of feel to the operating system so the navigation bars your content appears behind them you can see it gives a sense of quite a customizable operating system without actually having it customized but without further ado let's go into the notes app and as you can see Apple's done away with the yellow horrible and leather kind of navigation system and gone with a very crisp, clean layout, which is quite nice. And here you can see the keyboard. And let's hit done and head out of there. 
Now into the Reminders app. So you can see this is completely changed. Looks quite nice, very clean, very flat, very crisp. Now moving on to the clock app, as you can probably see the clock actually does represent the correct time now, which is a nice little addition. So let's go into there, and you can see the new UI, very crisp, very clean. If we just start that, you can see much different animation to the last one, and also the timer as well. So out of that, and into the new stocks app. This is just a color change and the flatter design. It's quite nice. And moving out of that into newsstand. Now I have nothing in here, but newsstand can actually be placed into. Now moving on into the iTunes store. And you can see the new flat design has been represented in the store as well. And now over into the app store. And the same flat design has been transformed. And we also have this new near me in the center. Now this will bring up apps that are related to your location. So say if you were near a landmark. Uh, hopefully if there were apps actually made for that specific landmark. You would get those tailor specific apps. And also updates. I don't have any updates. I've turned on the automatic update feature. Which has been long overdue but finally in. Which is great. So heading out of the app store, let's go into Game Center. Now you can see Game Center has a very, very new UI, which is really nice. I like these kind of bubbles. Much better than that green felt kind of look. And as you click on something, the bubbles kind of fly away with a nice animation, which is really nice. So heading out of that. And we have the new Settings app. Now Settings is com completely different with the, the group table views. Much different. Gives it a nice easy fluid feel simple and flat so heading out of that let's go into the new compass app the compass app's really nice actually so here we go we have the compass app which is quite nice if we move the iPhone around you can see changing and also when you swipe to the right we have like a spirit level so when it's zero and bright green you know that you're on a flat surface which is quite nice so heading back out of that and if we go into the calculator you can see the calculator has gone with the, the new flat design it looks quite nice still works exactly the same swipe to the right to get rid of numbers that you previously typed and heading out of that we also have the phone so the phone's got a new dialer and as you press the numbers you actually see the background that you've got which is quite a nice little touch so you can actually customize the look and feel so a different background gives you a different see-through look and also if we go into Safari we've got the new tabs so let's add a couple of these and as you can see we've got the tabs so we can easily swipe and get rid of them press done and then you can also as you're viewing the content, the bars will disappear, which is quite a nice touch as well. It gives you a full viewing experience. So if we come out of that, and let's have a look at the new multitasking feature in iOS 7, which is really nice. So if we double tap, and you can see all of your apps. So they've got like a little a screenshot taken of when you last used them, as well as the icon down the bottom. And to get rid of an app from multitasking, we just swipe up, which is really nice, really clear, really fast. Works really well. So that's a really nice feature. So if we go back to the main screen, and as you may notice, you don't you can't swipe to the left anymore or to the right to get to the spotlight. You can do that from anywhere within the OS by just bringing down on the screen, and you can search for anything just like you would in the Spotlight app. And that pretty much rounds up most of the the stuff on iOS 7 beta 1. So as beta 2 and the rest of the betas come out, I'll release subsequent videos with some of the updates and stay tuned. This has been a video by the Dev Lounge. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it, leave any comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.